Hello everyone, I am James, and this is the continuation of my Powerless Polling campaign. Alright, so normally, I would kind of take a hands-off approach with the burgers and let them keep their money and just build with that money, but considering I need as much money as I can to flip provinces to the burgers, and I'm going to get a lot of loyalty from giving them privileges that I have to give. I'm going to go ahead and try and take really as much money from them as possible. So that's possible to do that uh, right now through war support. So I should get 90 ducats from them. Because I want to flip this province. I think... I mentioned Corporation Guild. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and try to build that. Thirty-eight thousand in Warsaw. Yeah, I think that's best for now. So these guys are allied with nobody. I think they're going to ally Sweden. If I leave them alive. I can leave them alive and try to use them as a war target to farm ducats from the burgers. Since they'd be a pretty easy target to fight. Them in Riga. I think I'll do that. I'll take their capital though. Just leave them with, um... Actually, no, I think they can keep their capital. I'll take this province because it has a fort. And they can also give me ducats, war reps, transfer trade power. Give up claims for prestige. Go ahead and do that. Should be able to rent Kandatieri to somebody. Muscovy is fighting Ryazan. Don't want Ryazan's territory, but uh, so that's actually fine. They pay 2.1 times maintenance. There's a couple other wars going on. I'll wait till these troops get together, actually. Let's have them walk over there. They can meet in the middle. Oh, that war just ended. Looks like France won. They took a province. Alright, Muscovy it is then. Oh, I took too long. They dropped down from 2.1 to 1.6. Muscovy, Ryazan, Ragusa, and Genoa. Genoa is fighting... Akeia? Akeia? That country has too many vowels in it. Unnatural. Uh, Ryzen, do you. You're not gonna be able to pay me more. I'd like to fight Muscovy, though. They're fighting Ryzen and. Yaroslavl. Oh. They were allied to them. Do 
you want to count out here? You do not. Okay. We're good on rebel factions, so... I'm gonna try to make money. 126. It's fine. I'm actually going to give this province to Lithuania. Because I don't really need it myself. And I will also siphon their income. Improved relations. It looks like Hungary kind of uh, improved. They got up to about 6,000 troops. So I'll keep them for now. Kiev. Probably not going to be able to vassalize them. Hey, I love cultural unrest. It's my favorite gift. We have three missionaries. Let's go ahead and convert peacefully. Lithuania asks for help. Rebel army led by pretenders marching towards Lithuania's capital. Where? Where are they? I don't see them. The family members of the deposed monarch of Lithuania have managed to gather up a rather large following and are now trying to dethrone Queen Consort Regent Alzbita. Well, that's me, so... I originally thought this was seize their gold and soldiers. Uh, give them 2,000 manpower, 29 ducats, sure. Okay, I don't think there's actually an army. Let's go ahead and get that construction cost reduction. See what that does. Apparently, not much. I don't want to actually help Muscovy, but I think taking one of these um, no fort provinces isn't going to actually do anything to the counter. Heck happened in Georgia. They got their provinces back. That'd be great if they could just lose all these provinces. And then I'll just take them, sell them back to them. We're going to try to help Novo Sil get their provinces converted. Our idea group is economic. Do we want a state or do we want 10% tax modifier? What's the unstated territory? Where's the state map mode? That's not the state map mode. Should 
imagine states being the political map mode. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, a state really isn't going to help me right now. And the next... The next, uh, whatever this is, institution isn't until 1550, so... Go ahead and take the uh, next economic idea. And you know what? I'll take the next one after that. Provincial trade power modifier plus 10% and construction cost negative 5%. Corporation Guild is now 827 ducats. Take back this province, it should satisfy Muscovy until at least we can uh, revoke just so they don't do that first. Union is uh, around 1500. I'm hoping that uh, it's not messed up because we our government switched and then switched back from elective. I hope that didn't screw things up. We didn't do that. I didn't do that. So that was the game doing that. So it would suck if the game would suck if I did it, but it would also it would extra suck if the game did it. And the game made me not get the uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Go ahead and recall them. Take some church influence. Can I get some manpower? Yes. 11,000 manpower. Let's give these tech. 15. I think I want to uh, should probably move against Muscovy. Before they get too big. Granted, their expansion avenues without fighting me is not... It's pretty limited. I can still grab all of this territory, though. I'd like to grab Muscovy, uh, Moscow. I think if I can grab that, that pretty much cripples. Oh no. Our ruler died. We have a 205 Regency Council for six years. Yeah, I haven't had one of those in a long time. So it looks like we're going to be renting out Kandatiari for a while. And I can revoke these, so... We really can't do much except fights. I don't want to fight, so... 
I'll probably revoke that once that gets to a month. And then try to rent out to someone else. We're going to collect ducats for the next couple of years. The next decade. Since we can't fight anybody... couple of cores. There's only one province that I'm not coring. And it has 41 in rust. So I'm probably not going to core that for a while. Should be a bit of time before I'm able to get manpower again. Good news is the Greater Nobles are giving me a lot of manpower. I don't want to upset Muscovy though, because if I do that then I'm not going to be able to rent out for a long time, and I want to rent out for a while, so I think I'll just revoke it after this month. Let's go ahead and revoke that. I'm gonna drop that fort. That'll be some money saved. All of the roads in our country are expensive. So I have a road here and a road here. I think I put half manpower into this one. Yep, half manpower there. I'm going to try to keep plentiful manpower. As long as I can. I don't have it now, actually. So the Greater Nobles have one privilege. Or I can give them one privilege. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to revoke and then give it back. Actually, I'm going to grant them the last privilege and then revoke. Take money from the burgers, give them privilege. Give them significant toleration of smuggling. And then I'm going to end this part here. I'll revoke a privilege from the lesser nobles when I can do it in five years. Yep, so I'm going to end this part here, and then I'll pick it up in the next part. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.